So today we are going to be reviewing the Sandcorp by Wall cordless vacuum. We're going to be putting this machine through the usual battery of tests that I do on all the vacuums I get. We're going to be seeing how it works on carpets, hard floors, and testing the attachments, which really isn't that much. It's only this thing right here. But nonetheless, we're going to see how well this cordless vacuum works. So without further ado, let's get right into the testing. So the first test is going to be seeing how well the wall cordless vacuum deals with this pile of cat litter that we have right here. We'll be testing it on medium power. So let's see how well it works. Did a decent job. So we're gonna move to high. Definitely an increase in cleaning performance on high power. See how well it does on low power. Definitely not as good. So medium power seems to be the sweet spot for carpet cleaning. As you can see, the wall cordless vacuum did a pretty darn good job. You can see all the dirt collected in the bin. So let's move on to the debris test on the fitted carpet of the house. All right, so we have crushed and whole goldfish, uh, wheat bran and whole oats that we're going to test it on and see how well it performs. So we're going to test on the goldfish first. Medium power. Okay. So it did a pretty good job. It did push the goldfish as you see right there. There's a couple oats on the carpet. Doubt you're gonna be able to see them on camera, but there's one right about there. And then a couple more right in here. You'll probably never see them, but let's uh, clean them up. A quick blast of high power. All right, as you can see, the vacuum did a pretty good job. So we're gonna move on to the pet hair test. So now we have the pet hair. We're gonna see how well the wall cordless vacuum performs at cleaning that up. So let's do that right now. Medium power, yep. Did a pretty good job on the first pass. All right, I do not see any pet hair in the carpet. There's a little fragment right here, but that's about it. So we're gonna move on to the next test. All right, so we have three more debris types. We have bird seed, oats, and some cream of wheat. So let's see how well the wall cordless vacuum cleans this up. Medium power again. Pretty darn good. Only one left right there. Pretty darn good. <laughs> really good. A little tiny little bit left. So as you saw, the wall cordless vacuum did a pretty darn good job on that dirt. So we're gonna do the conclusion right now. So overall, I'm actually quite impressed with the wall cordless vacuum. It did a good job on the pet hair 
and only a little bit is tangled, as you can see here. It did an exceptionally good job on the hard floors, as you just saw. We're gonna check the pre-filtering. See how that looks. There's a small amount of dust in the pre-filter, not that bad, and this is just the foam. So that looks pretty darn clean to me. It also has a pretty nice large capacity battery. The only thing I wish it had was better attachments, but at this price, that's kind of to be expected. It has a brushless motor, good runtime, removable battery, easy to use controls. Overall, pretty darn good for this price. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the wall cordless vacuum. See you all next time.